Hey guys, Jerry here with Mud Wheels again. We're here with a Visco lock differential and today we're going to do a torque locker install. Now this is a pretty straightforward install. Um, I've learned a few tips and tricks. I've done this a few times now so I'm just going to go through some of those tips and tricks with you and make it for a super easy install for you. So right now we've already had the torque locker out of this differential. We've had it apart just for ease of shooting the video. Um, we're going to get into it here right away and I'll be back. We'll have this baby opened up. Okay, so first things first when we're uh, when we open this up, there's the washer on this side and the one on the other side as well. Don't mix those guys up. Um, you're going to mess with your backlash and your preload if you do that. So keep note of those. So here that washer is still in the case. First thing we have to do here is flip this guy over. And we're going to have to disable the visco lock. So to do that, I'm going to pull that snap ring. I'm going to pry that seal out from underneath and there's going to be a lot of thick gooey visco fluid we got to get rid of. So we're going to do that now. We'll be back here in a minute. There you go, so we're back again. We got the snap ring off. Here's a spring washer, it's concave. Let's throw those aside. Now this is a molded seal. It's, I've been working on it for a while trying to get it out. The best way i found to get it out is to press down on this side of the seal, that side of the seal raises up. Get a little pick under there and pry it up. So, I need a camera guy. There it is, visco fluid. One of the reasons why I was hesitant to do this, because this is my own personal machine. And well, my visco lock was working fine. So, in the name of testing, destroy a perfectly good working visco. This stuff is awesome. Okay, so we're back here. We got all the visco fluid cleaned out of here. Um, I'm not going to bother putting the seal back in. So, we'll just. Uh, there's our shim there, make sure that's in place. So now to install our torque locker. This is pretty basic, but uh, after doing this a few times, I can show you a few tricks to make it a little smoother for you. So first, you put in the axle gear on the bottom. Then you put next the second axle gear up top. Then you take your cam gear, slide it in the bottom, made it into your axle gear. Now these two keys, line them up in those two notches. Should be pretty easy, there we go. Nothing to it, now we just slide our pin home. And then install the snap ring on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our snap ring installed on this side. Next thing we're gonna do is install these springs. Don't forget these. <laughs> I've done that. And you're not going to be happy with yourself the next day. Spin it around. Okay, torque locker is installed. Okay, one more thing i got to mention about uh, installing a torque locker is this gap here. You're supposed to have between 150 and 185 thou. I'll put my caliper in there. Getting roughly 100 and 155 thousandths. If it's 
broader than 185 thou, they want you to use these two sh or shim here and a shim under here to bring the gap closer together. Okay, so now we've got our visco lock, or sorry, our torque locker installed. One thing I want to tell you about before you put it all back together is installing the right side axle. Now, one of the troubles I had when doing this install was getting that right side axle fully seated into the diff. So the best way I found to do it was to have the ability to play right there and get the splines on the inside to line up perfectly. So I do this before I even put the differential halves together. So what I do is flip it upside down. I've already got some uh, grease on our circle up here. Center it. Slams home just like that. So now that we got this axle installed, we can go ahead, install our shim, our o-ring, and then our case half. Now I install the full differential into the bike with this axle already installed. And I okay, so that's the best way I found to install the locker and install the axle into your new locker. Um, just a few tips and tricks I've picked up on doing this myself a few times and uh, it works good for me. Give it a shot, see what you think.